DeSantis, whoever this guy is, and they have the most grumpiest looking photo ever. This guy uh, is starting to build his stature in 2024. And uh, he says he disagrees on mask mandates. These kids aren't wearing masks. (laughs) The, The amount of people who not only don't even own a microscope or even have a pair of scrubs, you know, unless they went to some Halloween party, who are literally questioning doctors. It's just, at this point, it's just hilarious. Ah, what do you know? <laughs> These fucking pieces of shit politicians. He knows that that's what his fan base wants him to do, so that's what the fuck he's going to do. Unbelievable. Right-wing radio host and anti-vaxxer dies of COVID. Get the fuck out of here. I got to read that. That's when somebody's against a helmet law gets on a motorcycle and cracks his fucking head open. A right-wing radio host from Florida who publicly criticized vaccines told his friends to get vaccinated shortly before he died of COVID. All right, what is this? Slate.com? Who the fuck is this? Get the Slatest? I'm not reading this shit. How do I know that's true? That's another thing, too, people. You have to understand that there are, there's no rules of libel or slander on the Internet. You can just basically write whatever you want and you can put some videos up and put some ominous music underneath it. And then, you know, just sit back and let the mouth breathers fucking roll in. Oh, whoa, look at that. The world is flat. What? Um, maybe that maybe you know what? Maybe I shouldn't get so mad at these fucking cyclists. You know what I mean? Because they're not putting fumes into the air, but then they get all hot and sweaty and they're adding to global warming. In the midst of all of this crap, I just want everybody to know that I am rooting for everybody at this point. Okay, I'm rooting for people that got vaccinated and wear masks, and I'm rooting for the people that don't. You know, I hope, I hope, uh, whatever, however the fuck you're, you're breaking this shit down, it works out for you. Um, I don't want to see any more people die of this shit, but, you know, I don't know. It's weird. Let's see here. Oh, then we're going to get into it. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, I asked the, the cyclists to write in. My God, picking on cyclists is like making fun of people that like Harry Potter. You know, or making fun of people that watch Marvel movies and shit. You know, you just like making fun of them. You know, feminists, fat people, all of those fucking overly sensitive fucking people. Can't take a goddamn joke, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so I start picking on cyclists, right? And all of a sudden, they're coming out of the goddamn woodwork, these people. Here's the thing about cycling, all right? If they just kind of got rid of cars or toned them all down to a massive, in a massive way for, like, cities, I would not have a problem with that, you know, cycling around. I guess I would after a while. I'm getting fucking old, but I, I, I don't have a problem with that. But they, they, I don't know how you transition now, you know, with the roads and all of that crap. I have no fucking idea. I don't know. I can just tell you there's, no, you there's no fucking way you'd ever catch me on a bicycle riding in a town, in a city, anywhere. Everybody's on their fucking phones. Weed is legal. I mean, you understand, there's people out there, that wake and bake. They wake up, they get fucking high. And the thing about weed is, is everybody thinks it's this amazing drug. And they think it's not addictive. Now I'm going to get the weed people pissed at me. Um, they think it's not addictive. They think they drive better when they're high. This is things like like guys who get fucking drunk and they drive drunk. They wake up the next morning going like, oh, man, I shouldn't have done that shit. I, I need to fucking slow down. People who smoke weed are just like, dude, I drive better when I'm drunk. You know, I fucking, I'm more artistic. Ugh. Are you? Are you more artistic? Well, you should have somebody stone sober look at your work when you're done. <laughs> but have your fun. Don't listen to me. I'm just a grumpy old sober guy now. Fucking gets excited about French toast. Oh, my God. 